Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Burville Fine Arts Athletic Complex for our football game, our playoff game between Callisburg and Millsap. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's national anthem is being performed by the Callisburg High School Marching Band. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Well, good evening and welcome to North Richland Hills and the Birdville ISD Fine Arts Athletic Complex for our Division II Class 3A Region 2 by district playoff game between the Millsap Bulldogs and the home team Callisburg Wildcats. My name is Joe Ward. I'll be broadcasting for you this evening, live streaming it, hopefully I'll be able to uh, bring some ins excitement and to the game tonight between the Bulldogs and the Wildcats. Millsap won the toss, the coin toss, and elected to defer. So they will receive the ball in the second half. Number 33, Noah Pericone. Noah Pericone will be kicking off for the Bulldogs. Left to right on your screen, east to west, as our, our stadium is east to west here in North Richland Hills. Millsap in the white uniform tops with maroon pants. Callisburg maroon tops with black pants. A very muggy and sometimes windy afternoon and evening here with uh, big changes expected tomorrow. Paracone approaches the ball and it's a pooch kick. Caught at the 35. By number 13, Caden Flanagan, senior. On the return for the Wildcats for the 13, Caden Flanagan. And return for approximately eight yards. Callisburg will take over first and 10 at their own 43. The return is good to the 43 yard line. Call it eight yards on the return. Colton Montgomery, the senior quarterback, leads his team out onto the field. In a quarterback with the Wildcats under center number three, Colton Montgomery. Also they are in a heavy right wing right formation. They run a Little jet sweep, pitch pass to number two. That is Grayson Thurman. He's gonna have a 
Looks like no gain on the play. Strung out well by the Bulldogs defense. Second and 10 for Kalsberg. Two back set this time. Tight end and two receivers to the right. Quarterback keeper up the middle. Great strong run, good blocking there. Nice crease to run through there for the quarterback, Colton Montgomery. Gain of call it 15 down to the 44 of Millsap. And we've got a penalty. It's going to be our first penalty of the night. False start on Callisburg. Number 10, A.J. Calger got a little bit fancy. A little, little jumpy there. The penalty moves the ball back to the 49-yard line. Remains first down. First and 15 for the Wildcats at the Millsap 49. Quarterback again, Colton Montgomery gets down to the 41 yard line. It'll be second and seven. Callisburg looking over at the sidelines for their for their plays. Their coaches, several coaches out on the field, giving hand signals. Tight end to the right, wing to the right. Two receivers at the bottom of your screen. Montgomery throws a quick pass to number 10. Still on his feet, breaks a tackle. Down to the 24-yard line. Number 10, A.J. Calger on a, on a little bubble screen to the left. He had a... A ton of blocking out in front of him. Good play call there. 17 yard gain. First down at the 24 yard line. Callisburg driving here early in the first quarter. Montgomery with a with a roll and keep decides to keep it. He got about two yards on the play down to the 22. Credit the tackle to the Bulldogs number 34, Nixon DeLong. A gain of two on the play. Second and eight for Callisburg. Millsap's defense side to side looks pretty good. Good pursuit by their linebackers. Three man front. Looks like they're crowding the line. Eight in the box here. They back their linebackers off. Montgomery on a, on a, on a roll, pulls up and decides to run. Breaks one tackle, but he can't get away from the ankle tackle of number 12, Peyton Renault. Tackle made by Renault. For Millsap. It'll be third and five from the 19 for Callisburg. A gain of three on the play. Coaches sending in their signals. Millsap lining up in their 3 4. They've got seven in the box there. Quick screen out to the left to number seven for Callisburg. And he drags number 50 into the end zone for a touchdown. That's Colton Simpson, who just took Malachi Cook for a ride into the end zone. Touchdown, Callisburg. On a pretty easy drive, they had the one negative play on the, on the offsides, a false start. So Callisburg is going to attempt the extra point here. Number 88 is the kicker. And hooks it to the left, no good. Number 10, A.J. Calger was also the holder on that. 88, Ty Morrell hooked that to the left. So with 8.55 remaining in the first quarter, with our score, Callisburg six. Millsap zero. We'll be back to the fact in 30 seconds.
And welcome back to the Birdville Fine Arts Athletic Complex. Our score six to nothing, Callisburg. Ty Morrell will be kicking off. It is a, a kick to the 20 yard line. Returned by, it looks like number 21, Garen Morgan. Did a little fancy footwork there. Number five, Caden Molina on the tackle. So now Millsap comes out for their first possession. Sophomore quarterback, C.R. Tippy. Leads his team out. Three receivers set to the left for Millsap. Sweep to number 15. And that is Ryder Oliver, the running back. And he is gone. Touchdown Millsap on the first offensive play of the game for them. 69 yards. But there is a flag on the play. Looks like it's going to be a hold. Holding offense number two. Holding on number two, Carter Nairn. Looks like he was a wide receiver out there on the edge, perhaps. But I tell you what, Ryder Oliver showed a lot of speed on that play. That was well blocked. Didn't get to see the replay on it. But interior line did a great job on that. And Ryder Oliver, 69 yards in very short amount of time but they called a hold on the wide receiver number two Carter Nairn for a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul so it'll be first and 14 for Millsap at their own 27-yard line did not stop after the play please reset the game clock to eight minutes 35 seconds eight three five please eight three five stand by Having a little clock issue. They're going to reset the clock to 8.35. There we go. Looks like we're ready to start again. So once again, we'll reset it here. Millsap with the ball first and 14. Inside handoff this time. And Kalisberg's defense Pretty tough inside on that play with a gain of two. Number seven, Cole Weaver. Number seven, Cole Weaver, the running back. A gain of two out to the 29 yard line. Brings up second down. Second and 12 for Millsap. Tippy looking over at the sidelines for the play from his coaches. Same play they ran for the touchdown. Looks like Ryder Oliver is going to break another one. This time he's caught first by number two. Grayson Thurman was the first of the Callisburg team to, to get there. Down all the way down to the Callisburg 13-yard line. 18-yard line, excuse me. 53 yard run after he just ran a 69 yarder so he's getting his track workout in today and the dogs are on the move first and 10 at the 18 heavy set to the left running back number 23 Reed Green maybe got back to the line of scrimmage number seven Colton Simpson in on the tackle. 
second and 10 for the Bulldogs. If you're just joining us, Millsap in white with maroon pants. Callisburg wearing the, they're the home team wearing the dark. The maroon jerseys with black pants. Here we go, second and 10. Tippy back to throw and he's pressured and he is sacked. Try to catch the number on that. Number three, Colton Montgomery, who is also the quarterback for Callisburg, got the sack there. So third and 15 coming up for Millsap at their 23-yard line, at the Callisburg 23-yard line. 6-15 and counting here in the first quarter. Empty backfield. Tippy is all by himself. Steps up. He's got a man. He got a foot down. Touchdown, Millsap. What a catch in the back of the end zone from number two, Grayson Thurman. And what a throw by Tippy. Under pressure in the pocket. Touchdown, Millsap. Here's the replay. He was forced up into the pocket. Beautiful catch by Carter, excuse me, Carter Naren. Not Grayson Thurman. Carter Naren. The kick is no good. We're having a little trouble with the kicks tonight. So our new score here in North Richland Hills, Millsap six, Callisburg six. We'll be back to the FAC in 30 seconds. Welcome back to North Richland Hills and the Fine Arts Athletic Complex for our by district 3A Division II Region II playoff game between Millsap and Kalisburg. Uh, my name is Joe Ward. I'll be broadcasting for you tonight. Number 33, Noah Paracone, back to kick for Millsap. Puts a foot into it, it's a pooch kick right down the pipe. Good return set up down the right side of the field. Jackson Falgout with the return. And number 32, Morgan Birdwell on the tackle. So Kalisburg comes out for their second possession. They scored on their first, first possession of the night. Two back set, two receivers to the left. Sweep to the left, number seven, Colton Simpson. Colton's a big boy. On the carry for the Wildcats, number Six seven, foot, Colton 165. Credit the tackle to the Bulldogs, number 21, Garrett Morgan. Moves the ball out to the 48 yard line. It's a gain of 10 and a first Gain of 10 and a first down. Inside handoff. Looked like a hole was there at the beginning, but number 77, Marco Gonzalez for Millsap, was able to corral the running back. Gain of one, second and nine. Flanagan was the running back that time. Colton Montgomery looking over at the signs. Gives that message to his O-line. Number 
Millsap brings an extra lineman in. We've got a sweep left. Good tough run by Colton Simpson. Brought down again with pursuit by big number 77, Marco Gonzalez. Third and a long four. Single setback, wing to the right, two receivers to the left at the bottom of your screen. Inside run by the quarterback number three. Oh, it looks like they're going to have him about a half a yard short. So this will be an interesting call here. Oh, might have that, what John Madden would call that left foot, right foot spot. Looks like they get the right foot. Could be a first down. And they give it to him, first down. Ooh, that was close, a lot closer than I thought. First and 10, Callisburg at the Millsap 42. Handoff, outside handoff to number 13, Caden Flanagan in the Millsap defense was where they were waiting on him. Good pursuit. By a pack of dogs the there. The -yard line. Led by number play. seven, Great Cole Weaver. Down. Second and eight for Callisburg on the 40 yard line. 343 left here in the first quarter. We got tight end left, slot right, three receivers to the right. Montgomery's back to pass. It's a throwback. He's got a man wide open, number 13, Caden Flanagan. It's a race to the end zone, and he is tackled just short at the two-yard line. 38-yard reception. Tackle made by the Bulldogs, number three. Nope. Moves the ball down to the two-yard line. A gain of 40 yards. Number three, Caden Pitt makes the tackle. Touchdown saving tackle. Kalsberg is first and goal at the two-yard line. Montgomery calling the signals. Inside run, and Montgomery scores. Touchdown, Kalisberg. Big push by the line there, and a good lead, lead block by number 13, Caden Flanagan, who just made that 38-yard pass reception. So Kalisberg missed on their first point after, and they're lining up for a possible fake, but here we go. They're going to kick. And number 88, number 88 Ty, Morrell, Ty Morrell is the kicker. Good snap. Good hold. And the kick is pulled left again, hooked it left. No good, but our new score here with 3.20 left in the first quarter, Callisburg 12, Millsap 6. We'll be back to the fact in 30 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to North Richland Hills and the Birdville Fine Arts Athletic Complex for our 3A Division II, Region II, excuse me, playoff game between Millsap and Kalisburg. Kalisburg just scored on their second possession. Ty Morell, pooch kick down to the 20 yard line where Millsap re has got the ball there on the return out to the 32 yard line. Number 18, Graydon Jennings.
Millsap will take over first and 10 at their own 32 yard line. Looked like uh, number 20 Chandler Hemingway, Hemingway made the tackle on that return. Millsap breaks the huddle. They have three receivers to the bottom of your screen to the right, single back. And the sweep is read there perfectly by number 12, Carson Brandon for the Callisburg Wildcats. Loss of three. Looked like that was a some kind of sweep with a read on it. And he just almost took the handoff, so the quarterback had no choice but to give it away. Second and 13 for Millsap. Break the huddle. Got a tight trips to the left. Number 15, once again, takes that handoff to the left and this time Callisburg was ready for him. Ryder Oliver on the run. Colton Simpson, number seven, credited with the tackle on that play. It'll be third and 13 for Millsap at their tw own 29 yard line. Three empty backfield, three receivers to the right, two to the left. The quarterback is checking with the sidelines for the play. 10 seconds left on the play clock. Tippy has the snap. Inside tunnel receiver screen. And Callisburg is all over that. And they've got number 21, Garen Morgan, running for his life. Loss of nine on that little wide receiver screen, little tunnel screen. He left his lockers, blockers behind and tried to do a little bit too much on his own there. Fourth down and 22 for Millsap. Number 81, Grant Camarillo back to punt for Millsap. Number 10, A.J. Calger back to receive. It's a low line drive. Takes a Millsap roll out and it's coming back to the 41 yard line. No and that's where Callisburg will take over, no return. First and 10 Callisburg, they've scored on their first two possessions and missed both of their extra points. First and 10 Callisburg. Colton Montgomery leads his group out. These kids, you got to give it to these kids in the 3A division. Playing offense and defense. Some of them never come off the field. Special teams as well. So if they look tired on your screen, they probably it means they are tired a little bit. Uh-oh, Montgomery throws the ball up. It's tipped by the defender, and it's caught by number 10. That is A.J. Cowger for the touchdown. 59-yard pass completion for a touchdown. Montgomery left it short, and it was tipped by the defender, number 21, Garen Morgan, right into the hands of A.J. Cowger, who then stiff-armed number two, Carter Name, and did the rest on his own. 59-yard pass play. Makes the score 18 to six, Callisburg. And we'll try again on the extra point here. Ty Morell, he's hooked both of his previous two. Good snap, whoa, bad snap actually. This time the kick is good. And with 32 seconds remaining in the first quarter, our new score, Callisburg Wildcats 19. Millsap Bulldogs, six. We'll be back to the fact in one minute.
And we're back in North Richland Hills at the Birdville Fine Arts Athletic Complex. Our new scorer, Callisburg 19, Millsap 6. Ty Morell to kick off. Right to left on your screen, west to east. It's another pooch kick. This time it's a little bit shorter to the 27. Number eight for Millsap, Mason Burns, with a short return to the left sidelines. And number 12, a return of four out to Carson Brandon with the, uh, with the tackle. First down for the Bulldogs. First, time, first down for Millsap at their own 31-yard line. 27 seconds left in the first period. Probably just be one play unless they, unless there's an incompletion or something goes out of bounds here. So Millsap lines up, three receivers to the left, single setback. Quarterback keeper up the middle. And he he did not he didn't get the ball stripped, but it popped out. And Callisburg has recovered. Number two, Carter Name Narim was on the on the run there. He's down injured at the 28 yard line. He has not gotten up from where he was tackled. He is moving. So the trainers are out on the field. We are going to take a timeout with them. With our score, 19-6, to Kalisburg is leading. We will be back to the FAC shortly. We're back to the Fine Arts Athletic Complex. Carter Naren is the injured Bulldog being helped off the field by a coach and a trainer. There was a fumble recovery by Kalisberg on that play, so Kalisberg will take over first and 10 at the Millsap 29-yard line. We request that no one stand on the rail in the stadium, please. Please step away from the rail. That area is for handicapped members of the audience only. Thank you. Subbing in for Millsap is number 32, Morgan Birdwell. First and 10, Kalisberg. Montgomery back to throw. He scrambles to step up in the pocket. He was still looking to throw, but he is sacked for a three-yard loss. And I believe that will be the last play of the first quarter. With our score, Kalisberg 19, Millsap 6. We'll be back to the fact in a minute. Let you know that concludes the first quarter of tonight's game with our score. Kalisberg 19, Millsap 6. 
Hartford Wildcats, 19, and the Millsap, Millsap Bulldogs, 6. And welcome back to the to the fact for our Texas Class 3A Division II by district playoff between the Callisburg Wildcats and the Millsap Bulldogs. Callisburg was six and four, four and one in district, second place in their district this year. Millsap was six and four, but three and two in their district. They were third place in their district. Second and 13 from the 32. Callisburg with a two back set. It looks like they're running a little reverse. And it's number 10. CJ, or excuse me, AJ Calger, who steps out of bounds at the four yard line. Nice little sweep left, reverse right. Might have been a little hold there by the right tackle, but hey, it's only a hold if they call it. First and goal for Callisburg inside the five, almost to the four yard line. Quarterback's gonna keep it. And there is a flag on the interior this time, but it looks like Millsap might have cut, recovered a fumble. And they did. There is a flag on the play, but I do believe it's going to be offensive holding. I'll hold that, hold that thought for a second. It is holding on the offense. That's obviously going to be declined. Millsap will take over first and 10 at their own four-yard line. So we'll see who they replace Carter Naren with, who was the starting wide receiver who went out injured on the last drive. So Millsap just trying to get the ball away from their goal line with a quick gain of two yards to, up to the six. Number seven, Cole Weaver, number seven, Cole Weaver on, the, on the run. Second and eight for Millsap. Seems to be a little confusion. Play clock's down to six, five, four. They do get the snap off. It's a direct snap to number 23. Reed Green, haven't seen their quarterback, Cole, T Cole excuse me, C.R. Tippy, in the last two drives. I'm not sure what's going on. Gain of one on that play, third and seven for Millsap. He's still not in the game, but number 23 with the pass attempt that's almost intercepted by Kalsberg. Pass incomplete broken up by the Bobcats number nine, Trip Hazel. Number nine, Trip Hazel 
drop the interception that was thrown pretty much thrown right to him. So I see some trainers that are taking, unfortunately, Carter Naren to the locker room. Looks like it might be a sh shoulder or collarbone, the way he's holding his arm. Punt by Millsap, takes a Kalsberg bounce back to the 33 yard line. Ball down to the 33 yard line, no return on the kick. Kalsberg will take over right there, first down and 10 at the Millsap 33-yard line. Colton Montgomery brings his crew out. Tight right with a wing, two receivers to the left. Looked like a little confusion on the missed handoff there. And Montgomery just makes the best of it Montgomery to get, possibly get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 for the Wildcats. No official gain on the play, ball stays at the 33 yard line. Coaches are conferring as what signals they want to send in. They've got it in now. Montgomery is giving the play to his lineman. Inside handoff to number 13, Caden Flanagan. Gain of about one. So third and nine. Uh, they're not giving him any yardage on that. So third and ten for Callisburg. So we got tight end wing right. X over. Quick throw out to the left to number ten Calger. Calger's got a little, got some moves. He could have gotten a little bit more yardage. Caught it down to the twenty-five. A gain of eight. So it'll be fourth and two for Kalisberg, and then they will go for it. Millsap brings big number 50, 61, Billy Botorf into the game at nose guard. Inside run for Montgomery, who gets, he's still going, he's still going. Down to the, oh, they're going to call his progress stopped at the 21-yard line. But it is a first down. Good tough run there by Colton Montgomery. He does it all. He's playing linebacker, playing quarterback. Good athlete. First and 10. He's looking back for the play. The coach is signaling in. Inside handoff to number 13, Caden Flanagan, middle, who's 13, upended Caden after Flanagan. a gain of four. Upended by the Bulldogs, number eight, Mason Burns. Second and seven at the 18-yard line. Eight minutes left in the first half here in North Richland Hills, a balmy, windy evening that's going to change overnight with the North Cold front coming in, the norther coming in. Tomorrow is supposed to be raining and lots of cold wind. A oh, little counter to number seven. In my coaching days, we called that 43 counter. And number seven, Colton Simpson, the running backs, lined up as a wing on the right and came back behind the formation. Great block by number 65, Rowdy Jeffries leading through the hole just like you draw it up on a chalkboard. Beautiful. So first and goal, Callisburg at the seven yard line of Millsap. A 
Montgomery calling the signals. Got a motion across. Montgomery following his blocker, and he is in the end zone. Colton Montgomery, the senior quarterback for Kalisberg, has his third touchdown of the night. And Millsap has another injured player. He's getting up on his own, number 50. Malachi Cook. So it looks like Callisburg might be lining up to go for two, leading 25 to six. Yeah, they're keeping their kicker on the sidelines. They're gonna go for two. It's untimed down from the three yard line here. So the coaches all come out on the field and make sure everybody gets the correct signals. So we're slot right. So we got double slots. Receiver, wide receivers on either side. It's a rollout by Montgomery. Who th it's a throwback to number seven. He finds number seven in the end zone for the touchdown. Colton Simpson just outfought the the defensive back. I believe it was a safety. Number 23, Reed Green just outfought him for the pass. So with our score, new scorer. Kalisberg 27, Millsap 6. We'll take a short break. We'll be back to the fact in 30 seconds. Seven play drive on the Calixburg touchdown after the Millsap punt from their end zone. Back to kick for Calixburg number 88, Ty Morrell. On the return, number 18 for Millsap, Graydon Jennings. I'm going to keep an eye out and see if. The quarterback, C.R. Tippy, is back in the game. It does look like he's come back in the game. He was not in on the last two series. Ball spot at the 27 yard line. 13 yards on the return. First down for Millsap. First down for Millsap at their own 27. I want to give a shout out to my senior, Texas A&M Aggie, listening in College Station tonight. There's Tippy back to throw. He scrambles out of the pocket and throws it away incomplete into the stands. Good coverage by Callisburg on that. Looked like he had the slant, but he just didn't want to pull the trigger. Second and 10 for Millsap. Ball on the 27 yard line, on their own 27 yard line. 6.44 remaining in the first half, which has been dominated by Callisburg up to this point. Tippy scrambles, he's got some room, and he slides at the 30 yard line, a gain of three. Been watching some NFL there, had an early slide. He might be hurt, so he slid on for a good reason. He didn't want to get hurt further. Third down and seven at the 30 yard line. Lose the ball out to the 30 yard line. A gain of three yards. Brings up third down. Tippy barks the signals. It's an inside screen to number 11, Trip Moore. Well conceived play. It looked like it was going to be a screen out to the left, a wide receiver screen. Gate of nine to the 39, first down. Tippy goes out of the game. 
Yes, they're going to run a some kind of wildcat. Mills, uh, Millsap will. They'll have a direct snap. Quarterback under center. They shift. Toss left to number 15. Ryder Oliver. This time the the Kalisberg defense swarms. The Wildcats were swarming that time. Loss of two. It'll be second and 12 for Kalisberg. Excuse me. Second and 12 for Millsap at their own 37. Tippy looking at the sidelines, gets the play call, tells his lineman, two back set behind by, by the quarterback. Hand off, oh, inside, he keep, keeps it. Might have been better to give that off to number Tippy seven, Cole Weaver. C.R. Tippy, the quarterback, just a sophomore no for Millsap. So they're going to have two more good years with him. It'll be third down and about 12 from the 37. Tight trips to the right, which is the top of your screen. Tippy, the left-handed quarterback. He's flushed a little bit, throws it, and it is caught by number 11, or excuse me, number eight, Mason Burns, the senior, six foot 185 senior. And it is a first down. They're going to give him the first down. He fell forward. That pass is complete out to the 49-yard line. Tippy's eyes. He's got to keep his eyes downfield. That's the one thing that I noticed. He's uh, looking at his linemen and looking at the defensive line. Never a good sign for a quarterback. But he did scramble out, and he was able to spot Mason Burns for an excellent throw and catch. Split backs, two receivers to the left. Tippy fakes the handoff. He's got the wheel route up the sideline to number seven, Cole Weaver. Nice pitch and catch for a first down. Number seven, Cole Weaver. Tackle made by Simpson of the Wildcats. Make that number 10, AJ Counter. Moves the ball down to the 37. Millsap, first and 10, and driving at the Kalisberg 38. Sign's been given. H-back, two back set with an H-back to the right. Inside handoff to number seven, and he is swallowed up by number 74, Gustavo Perez of Kalisberg for a loss of two. And also in on the play number 19, Trent Blount or Blunt. Second down for Millsap. Two receivers to the left. Two back set. Tippy with the fake handoff. He scrambles. And the ball's thrown behind and almost intercepted by number five. Caden Molina. Pass intended for Mason Burns. So it'll be third and 12 for Millsap. Millsap in the white jerseys with maroon pants moving right to left on your screen, west to east here in the stadium. Empty backfield, the quarterback is alone. Straight drop, he's scrambling a little bit up in the pocket. Are they going to give it to him? They're going to say he did catch that ball. It was right over number 21's arms and into Mason Burns, number eight. What a great catch. Got his hands under the ball. And they're going to hurry up to the line. Tippy's keeping the ball. He's got some room, and he's going to slide again. Tippy on the, again on the quarterback scramble. Not sure what his measurables are. He's not a large guy. Kalisberg calls timeout after Millsap went into their no-huddle NASCAR offense. So we're going to take a timeout with them with our score.
27 to 6, Callisburg, 220 remaining in the half. We'll be back to the FAC in one minute. And we're back at the FAC with 2.20 left in the first half. 27 to six, Kalisberg leaves Millsap, but Millsap is on the move. Second and three from the 18 yard line. Tippy with the inside handoff to number 15. On the handoff up the middle. The ball ball still moving, carry, ball carry still moving. Gets enough for the first down. Good effort by number 15. Ryder, Oliver, and once again, big Gustavo Perez on the stop, along with a whole group of Wildcats. Clock running, two minutes remaining in the first half. Millsap looking over at the sidelines for the, for the play. Tippy's got his group set up, two receivers to the right, tight end to the left. Inside. Looking for that middle screen again. It's caught, but just for a gain of one this time. Tippy got a little happy feet there. We may have a flag on the play. Here comes the official. Might be an eligible man downfield. It is, definitely. Ineligible man downfield. So I think what the deal was, the lineman was out in front of the receiver catching the ball. And that's not ever a good thing, unless you're behind the line of scrimmage, of course. So we'll replay the down. It'll be, it might be loss of down, but it's first, they're saying it's first and five. The clock's rolling with a minute 40 left. Millsap still in their huddle. Still in their huddle. Minute 25 and counting here. Tippy calls the signals. Gets a snap. Fakes the, fakes the handoff. It's a pass. Oh, just over the outstretched arms of Mason Burns. He had him. Oh, he had him. Nice touch on the ball. It was just about two yards too far for him. Oh. Good play call there. Good play fake. Sucked the linebackers up and the safety was frozen just for a split second. Enough time for Burns to run past, but the ball was incomplete. So here we go. Second and 15 from the 19-yard line with a minute 17 left in the half. Millsap still sending their signals in with eight seconds on the play clock. Five seconds. Tippy gets the snap. Handoff. Oh, and he did. He kept the ball and is sacked by number seven, Colton Simpson. Millsap calls timeout. Excuse me, Callisburg called timeout. Looks like they have one timeout left. We'll take it with them. With our score 27 to 6, Millstap driving at the 24 yard line. We'll be back to the FAC in 30 seconds.
And we're back in North Richland Hills at the Burville Fine Arts Athletic Complex. First half dominated pretty heavily by Callisburg uh, with the score 27 to six. But Millsaps put together a pretty good drive here. Their quarterback, C.R. Tippy, running the show here. They're in his empty backfield here on third down. Tippy steps up in the pocket. Looks like he's going to be brought down a sack by number 12, Carson Brandon. And Callisburg uses their final timeout with 59 seconds left in the first half. So, situation is, ball's going to be at the 26. I don't think Millsap's going to kick a field goal. I think they're too close to punt. So, there's a good chance they'll go for it on fourth down. So, Callisburg is putting their chips down that it's an incomplete pass, and they're going to get the ball with some time left close to the line of scrimmage. Or if they get a sack, it could be even closer. So, we'll set the stage here. 59 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Callisburg leading Millsap 27 to 6. Callisburg just called their final timeout. Millsap still has all three of theirs. Just to let you know what's coming up, there'll be a 28 minute halftime. Both bands will perform. Could, could be shorter than 28 depending on the length of their program, but usually 28 minutes and then we'll be, you, you can hear that and see that live here and then we'll be back as soon as that's over. But we still got football left. Here we go, fourth down. Tippy drops back. Oh, the ball is incomplete. Right off the outstretched arms of number eight, Mason Burns. Looks like he might be shake, shaking up just a little bit, maybe have the wind knocked out of him. He's getting up on his own. Hopping around, I think he's gonna be okay, just kind of stunned a little bit. So, like we talked about, incomplete pass, Callisburg gets the ball back right there at the 26 yard line with 52 seconds left. Colton Montgomery, the quarterback, leads his group out. He's got number five, Caden Molina at running back next to him. And number seven, Colton Simpson in the slot to the right. Those two guys have been doing some damage tonight. Simpson runs right up the seam, but it's a quick out to the left. Quick throw to the left with a stiff arm. That's number two, Grayson Thurman. They run up to the line. They're gonna, their coaches are saying spike it. It'll be second and seven, or second and eight, or second, excuse me, second and two. Second and two. So they spike it, incomplete pass with 30 seconds left. It'll be third and two at the 34 yard line. So the receiver made, in my opinion, made a little error there by running inside with no timeouts when he could have caught the ball and gotten out of bounds to stop the clock. But I'm up here and they're down there. So Montgomery barking the signals out. Millsap in their two deep zone. It's a roll out to the right, Montgomery. He's trying to direct traffic and fumbles the ball. Oh, but he fumbles it out of bounds at the 35 where the clock will stop with 22 seconds left and it'll be fourth down and one. Timeout, Millsap. Well, that's a good break for Kalsberg because they were looking like they were confused about what they wanted to do. So we'll take the timeout with them with 22 seconds remaining in the first half. 27 to 6, Kalsberg leads Millsap in this 3A playoff game by district game. We'll be back to the fact in 30 seconds.
And we're back in North Richland Hills at the Fine Arts Athletic Complex for our Texas Class 3A Division II Region II by district playoff between Callisburg and Millsap. Callisburg, fourth down and one, 22 seconds left. They, they're they lining up, at least lining up in punt formation. Number 21, Garen Morgan is back deep for the punt. The quarterback, Colton Montgomery, is the punter. And he does punt end over end. The ball takes a Callisburg bounce and is blown dead at the Millsap 21 with nine seconds left. Ball down at the 21 yard line. Pretty good little punt. On the punt. No return. So Millsap, quarterback C.R. Tippy, the sophomore, brings the group out. We'll see what Kalisberg does defensively. Looks like they're playing a cover two in the back. Inside handoff, counter to number 15. That is Ryder Oliver. Great run there. Good concept on that play. Ball goes 11 yards on the run, 12 yards to the 33-yard line. First down for Millsap with two seconds left in the half. Millsap still staring at the sidelines. 10 seconds left to get the playoff. Three, two, they get the playoff. Tippy. Makes a uh, play fake. Is the lefty rolling to the right? Oh, the ball is almost intercepted by number nine, Trip Hazel. But that will do it for the first half. With our score, Callisburg 27, Millsap 6. I'll turn it over to Chris McDonald and the halftime show.
with the students playing ball on the field. Please be removed.
Liberty Kirk. Captain Hannah Green. Junior Faith Renteria. Cameron Childress. Ashton Jepko. Sophomores Claire Reed. Kenzie McCage. Kylie Doherty. Kylie Bartle. Our freshmen are Kaylin Winchester. Addie Ramirez. Emily Beck. Addison Collier. Berkeley Preston. And our amazing All-American mascot, Willow and Winnie. Now entering the field is the pride of Kalisburg, the Kalisburg Wildcat Marching Band. The band is under the direction of Richard Kennedy, Sutton Hennessy, and Lillian Tuggle, with color guard captain Faith Rentiera and co-captain Jeffrey Trammell. Drum majors Patrick Burke and Corbin Hayes. Due to weather complications the last few weeks, the Wildcat Band will be performing their Halloween show. When there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Enjoy our first performance, Ghostbusters. Next, the Wildcat Band will perform Halloween, made famous from the slasher film with the same title. It'll be a scream.
last performance of the night will bring the dead to rise to their feet and dance along. Written by Michael Jackson, this is Thriller. Darkness falls across the land, the midnight hour is close at hand, and whoever shall be found without the soul of her getting down must stand and face the Wildcat Band, the greatest band in all the land. And we're back at the Fine Arts Athletic Complex with our 27 to 6 halftime score. Kalisberg in the league. Got some stats for you. Kalisberg, 10 first downs to Millsaps, 8. Rushing yards, Kalisberg 107, Millsaps 68. Passing yards, Kalisberg 155, Millsaps 75. Total yards, 262 to 143, Kalisberg. Time of possession. Millsap has the time of possession lead with 13 minutes and 22 seconds. Uh, individual stats here, rushing for Kalisberg. Colton Montgomery, 45 yards rushing and two touchdowns. Receiving leader, A.J. Cowger, 84 yards and a touchdown. And tackles, Jace Bauer, four tackles, leads the Kalisberg Wildcats. For Millsap. Ryder Oliver, 67 yards. Mason Burns, 27 yards receiving. And tackles, Peyton Renault, six tackles, leads the Millsap Bulldogs. The teams are running back onto the field. We're about ready to start halftime. Until that, we'll take a break here from the FAC. This is Joe Ward in North Richland Hills with our score 27 to six, Callisburg. Back to the FAC in 30 seconds.
And welcome back to North Richland Hills. Millsap won the toss at the beginning of the game and elected to defer. So they will be receiving at the west end zone. Deep to receive for Millsap is number 15, Ryder Oliver. Teeing it up for the Wildcats. Number 88, Ty Morell. see if Millsap can put together another drive like they had at the end of the half, but they just need to finish that drive. Morell approaches the ball. It's a low kick. and bounces right to Ryder Oliver, who takes it on the left side up to the 28-yard line. Looks like there might be a face mask attached onto the end of that run, but we'll find out. Field judge is going over to the head referee. And here comes the call. On the return, personal, personal foul, foul face mask, mask against Callisburg. 15 yards added to the succeeding spot, first down. So, a good start already for Millsap. And they might have shorted him some yardage on the, uh, on the mark off. I think that was only 10 yards, but Okay. Anyway, first down for Millsap at their own 44-yard line. Quarterback C.R. Tippy in the game. Actually, that's a direct snap to the running back, number 23, Reed Green. And Millsap did this in the first half. They went to their, if you want to call it their bulldog, or, or in the NFL they call it the Wildcat, where they a direct snap to a receiver, I mean a uh, running back, and their quarterback is nowhere to be found on the field again. And they did this in the first half. Here they go again. Green with the fake, and he's off tackle to the right. He's got some speed. Oh, but he is... Ankle tackle by number four, Jackson Falgout at the Kalsberg 31-yard line. They're mixing it up a little bit there with the Wildcat formation. Good, good uh, play fake, good broken field tackle uh, by Reed Green there. He was just run down from behind. So Millsap moving quickly now, first and 10 from the Kalsberg 31. Green is at quarterback again. Inside handoff to number 15, Ryder Oliver. For a gain of about five, maybe four. Four yard gain. Second and six for Millsap. Number 56. Robert Rodriguez limped off the field on that play. And number 51, Colton Brintz sprinted to their huddle. If you want to call that a huddle, more like a sugar huddle. They're very close to the line scrimmage. Tight trips to the right. And they're pulling everything back on a counter to the left. And that's number seven, Cole Weaver on the counter play. And that's going to be good enough, looks like good enough for a first down depending on the spot. No, third and one here. Big play coming up. Third and one for Millsap. Let's see if number 74, Gustavo Perez, the big tackle for the Kalisberg, defeats his block like he did earlier in the game. Nope, number 23, that is Reed Green for the 22-yard touchdown run. I think he was untouched. We'll take a look at the replay. Took it off the right, planted his foot, and he was untouched. So great, great first drive for Millsap. Their kicker, number 33, 
Noah Pericone, who missed his only attempt in the first half. Ball's placed down, the kick is up, and this time the kick is good, right down the middle. So we have a new score here in North Richland Hills. Callisburg 27 and Millsap now 13. We'll be back to the fact in 30 seconds. And we're back in North Richland Hills. Just want to uh, recognize a few people from the Callisburg High School. They're at uh, Callisburg ISD. Their athletic director and their head coach, Eddie Gill. Principal, Jason Hooper. And the superintendent, Don Metzler. For Millsap ISD, the athletic director and head coach is Jake Johnson. The principal is Kim Bean. And the superintendent is Mrs. Eddie Martin, or it could be Edie Martin, that's where I think it is. Um, Callisburg with an enrollment of 340 students, and Millsap with an enrollment of 301. The information I was able to get off of Max Preps today. So number 33, Noah Paracone gonna tee it up and kick for Millsap. Back deep, number seven, Colton Simpson. And number, I believe, number 12 or 13, Carson Brandon or Caden Flanagan. Low line drive, touched by number five, Molina. Calgar, number 10, breaking down the left side and run down from behind by number 32, Morgan Birdwill. Good return. Off of the off of the deflected the return kick from the 15 to the out to the 45, 30 the yard return. return. Calgar kind of ran into his own man there and was able to keep his balance. Bird. And number 32, Birdwell ran him down. So good field position to start for Callisburg at their own 45. First and 10. Colton Montgomery brings him out. Little counter play back to number seven, Colton Simpson, and he runs out of bounds. At the 43, he's gonna lose a couple on that. Second and 12 for Kalsberg. Offensive coaches call, uh, signaling in the plays. Montgomery tells the line. Inside run, looks like a trap to number 13, Caden Flanagan. Looks like he might be, might be injured. Number 23, Reed Green with the tackle. Looks like he might have got it in the ribs maybe, or not. maybe got the wind knocked out of him. So we're going to take this timeout, injury timeout, and we'll be back to the fact. Back in North Richland Hills, number 13, Caden Flanagan being helped off the field. Got knocked a little loopy there. He came, started to walk straight and then he just kind of lost his balance. He may, uh, may have been concussed. Hopefully they're gonna keep him out the rest of the game, put him under protocol, make sure he doesn't try to uh, get back in. 
I thought it was a lower body injury, but you never know. Resuming, action, ball at Resuming the play, Callisburg, second, or excuse me, third and five, inside motion, and we got a little option, option pitch to number eight, Jace Bauer. It'll be fourth and two. So the coaches are signaling it in. Callisburg's going to go. Or try to draw Millsap offside. We'll see what they end up doing. Montgomery, the quarterback, and he does get across the line of scrimmage for the first down. Needed two, got three. So Callisburg on the move there, now in Millsap territory, first and 10 at the 44 yard line. Coach is signaling the plays in. I was a signaler for a few years, it's interesting all the different things you come up with to try to make sense of your playbook without using words. It's pretty cool. Montgomery keeps around the corner to the right. Gets down around the 40, down to the 39 yard line. Gain of five, good tough run. Well, Montgomery, when he puts his head down, he's got some, got some athletic ability and some strong legs. He just keeps right on churning. 56 Robert Rodriguez checks into the game for Millsap at left tackle. Callisburg tight right with a wing, two receivers to the left. Montgomery throws left. He's got oh a uh, AJ Cowger. Cowger just took his eye off the ball. He looked up field before before he caught it. So it'll be third and five from the from the Millsap 39. Two receivers to the right. Montgomery gonna take it himself to the left, and he's gonna be stopped just a little short. It's gonna be Fourth and a three yards. That was not the greatest spot in the world, I don't think. And of course, Callisburg will go for it. Their coach is out on the field. <coughs> Excuse me. But the play call. Cowger. Oh, and his wide receiver. Did not help him out there with the block. Millsap will take over on downs. Number five, Caden Molina missed his block and left Calger one on one with the cornerback and he didn't have a choice, didn't have a chance. So the ball goes over on downs. First and 10 for Millsap. They've got the momentum this second half. 5.55 left in the first quarter, 27-13. Cal uh, Millsap on the short end of that one. And it looks like Rodriguez is coming in again. We'll see. They've got number 23 at quarterback, the Wildcat formation. That is Reed Green, and this time Callisburg is ready for that. Marco Gonzalez comes back in the game at for offensive line for Millsap. He was just out for one play. No gain on that play. I see the quarterback, Tippy, on the sidelines. Doesn't look injured. They're just going with the Wildcat just to kind of shake things up. They're trying to run the same play they scored on. And Green, oh, he's able to get one yard this time. Third and nine for the Bulldogs. 
Tippy checks in. They're going to run their traditional offense now. Staring over at the sidelines to get the play. In a regular spread formation with two receivers to either side. Tippy is forced out of the pocket. He runs to the right. And he's a lefty. Throws back. He's got a man wide open. And that's number four, Cade Boyd for the Bulldogs. What a great throw. That's hard throw. Let me tell you, folks, if you're watching at home, if you're a left-handed person running to your right, you have to square your shoulders up while you're running and make that throw. That's a tough one. Great throw there by Tippy. First and 10, Millsap, and they're in Kalisburg territory at the 35-yard line. Inside handoff, little counter play back to number seven, Cole Weaver. Kalisburg ready for that inside run. Gain of about one and a half, two yards. So it'll be second and eight. Big Gustavo Perez comes off the, off the field for Kalisburg. Reed Green still in at quarterback, in, well, in the quarterback formation. And he could go all. Oh, he's pushed from behind. Green with the carry for the Bulldogs. Tackled from behind by, looked like either number five or number seven, down to the three yard line. First and goal for Millsap. Credit to tackle to number three. So it was Colt, Colton Montgomery, the quarterback, who also plays cornerback, who had the touchdown saving tackle. First and goal, Reed Green takes a snap, and we've got movement, I believe. It is called a touchdown, but we do have two flags on the play. So hang on. The official's going to make the call here. If it's from both sides, it could be a defensive foul. Offside. Offsides on the defense. That is a touchdown. Reed Green with his second touchdown of the half. And they're one PAT away from being a one score game. Paracone on to kick. Good snap, good hold. And the kick is good. And the momentum has definitely changed in the favor of the Bulldogs. 3.24 remaining in the third quarter. Mil uh, Kalisberg's lead is only 27 to 20 now. We'll be back to the fact in one minute. And we're back in North Richland Hills for this Class 3A Division II Region II by district playoff game between Callisburg and Millsap. Millsap been impressive in this third quarter. They've scored 14 unanswered points to cut the lead to 27 to 20. Paracone, Noah Paracone to kick off for the Bulldogs. A deep kick this time that's caught at the 10 yard line by number 10, Calger. He's brought down at the 24 yard line. 
first and 10 for Kalisberg. Number 34, Nixon DeLon with the tackle. First, he was the first one there anyway. Joined in by number 16, Kai Hanog. So Millsap looks like they got a little pep in their step and Kalisberg just kind of walking out to the to the field. You can definitely tell old momentum has switched into the face of Millsap. But don't ever count anybody out. They can score in the blink of an eye. Both of these schools can. So we've got all kinds of motion and a helmet coming off. All kinds of stuff happening here. Flag on the play. Looks like it's gonna be a defensive penalty. Illegal formation on the offense, five players in the nope, Illegal formation declined. Second down and nine at the 25 yard line. Looks like they were just running a little trickeration there with some motion, all kinds of motion and running back the opposite way didn't work. Don't get too cute here. Let your quarterback who's been running the rock, let him keep doing it. They've got plenty of time to run the play, 25 seconds. And run the counter back. Number seven, Colton Simpson, the running back, the senior running back from Kalisburg. Another helmet came off, number 16's helmet came off. For Millsap, that's Kai Hanog. One thing I would say about number seven for Kalisburg, Colton Simpson, great athlete, great running back. But when he's running right and he's got that ball in his left hand, that's a recipe for disaster right there. Here we go, third down and three. And Montgomery looks like he's got enough for the first down. So Kalisberg would love nothing more than to uh, just run this ball for the last 220 of the, of the half and just run it, or the, excuse me, in the third quarter and just keep Millsap's offense off the field and just grind it out. Caden Molina next to Montgomery quarterback. False start on the offense. So now it'll be first and 15. Millsap, they're charged up, they're ready. Kalisberg just needs to match that intensity and execute, quit getting penalties. Clock's gonna start. So we're two minutes left in the third quarter here in North Richland Hills. Millsap with their 5-2 look here. Montgomery rolling right. He's throwing it deep, he's got a man. Just, and they're gonna call interference on number 15, Ryder Oliver, who was step for step with number two, Grayson Thurman. I don't know if they'll show the replay or not, but it did look like, did look like his hands were on his back. I don't know if it affected. Let's take a look. And he might have twisted his shoulders just a touch but I don't know if it affected the play or, or not. So it's only a 15 yard penalty. I don't know why everybody ran. There's another flag on the play. So, I'll try to set the stage here. So on an interference call, it's not the NFL, it's not a spot foul. It's a 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. It'll be first down. And if they threw a, if they threw a flag on the coach, 
on the other sideline, on the Millsap sideline, it'll be another 15 yards. And they'll have the ball at the 41, but we'll see what happens here. Well, the referee's over there having a little chit chat with the head coach. We'll see if there's gonna be a mark off here. Could be a sideline warning. But we'll see. They're taking their time to get it worked out. Yep, it's gonna be a 15 yarder. That's what I was afraid of. So double penalty there, he pass interference. And then a After dead ball play, personal unsportsmanlike. unsportsmanlike conduct against Millsap sideline. And the head coach. Penalty, first down. So coach Jake Johnson, he's gonna have to uh, be careful not to get another unsportsmanlike or he will be ejected and have to deal with the people in Austin with the UIL. That would not be good. So Kalisburg just got 30 yards of penalties in their favor. They're now at the Millsap 41. Not exactly sure what we're doing here. Here we go, first and 10. Inside handoff to number four, who slides off to the left, and he's tackled by number 12, Peyton Renault. Jackson Falgott was the ball carrier, number 12, Peyton Renault. It's a good open field tackle. Second and nine for Callisburg at the Millsap 40. Montgomery brings his group to the line of scrimmage. Got a tight end to the right with a wing. And number seven in motion again. We're gonna have an inside run. Montgomery finds a hole. He's tackled after he makes gets the first down down to the 26 yard line. Oliver with the game with the uh, touchdown saving tackle, he probably would have scored. Actually, it's number 16. Kai Hanag, we do have a flag holding against Kalisburg. So that wipes out that first down. So it'll be second and 14, because it was a spot foul. Second and 14 for Kalisburg. Millsat making some changes on defense. Motion across again. This time Montgomery runs to his right, he dips, breaks it outside, and he's tackled from behind by number seven, Cole Weaver. And number 77, Marco Gonzalez, his helmet keeps, has, come, has come off again. Millsap players, I don't know what kind of helmet they're using, their helmets are coming off. Kalisberg helmet seems to be staying on just fine. And first down. Fox running with 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Will they run another play? Or will they wait? Third quarter has ended. Okay, so from North Richland Hills in our Class 3A Division II Region 2 playoff game, we got a good one here. Kalisburg 27, Millsap 20. We'll be back in one minute with the conclusion of our game from the Birdville Fine Arts Athletic Complex.
And we're back for the fourth quarter of this exciting playoff game between Callisburg and Millsap. Callisburg up by the Red River by Gainesville. And Millsap just about 50 miles west of where we are right now. Third and 10, Montgomery rolling to the right. He throws and the ball is batted down. Incomplete, number eight. Mason Burns, credited with the pass breakup of Montgomery. Fourth down and Callisburg sends in their punting unit. Not sure if Montgomery had anybody open, but it doesn't matter. Mason Burns was all over it. Fourth and 10 from the 41. The punter is also the quarterback, Montgomery, so you always need to pay attention to that. Uh, we have a delay of game, it looks like. Delay of game, offense number three. Five yard penalty remains. So that'll be another five yard penalty. So fourth and 15 now. So if you were going to run the uh, run the fake punt, now you got five yards further to go. I think Montgomery's just going to kick it. Oh, drops a snap, and the punt is hooked off to the left, and it oh bounces and takes a Callisburg roll, and it continues to roll, and it's dead at the 25-yard line. So. That play was, uh, that punt was not, not the best. Dropped the snap and then took his eye off of it. Kicked it about, I want to say it's probably a 15 or 16 yard punt maybe. Nah, 20, 21 yard punt. So Millsap who scored 14 unanswered points this half has the ball back again. And that's Reed Green in the Wildcat formation. Looks like we have an injured Green. an injured Millsap Bulldog. Number 53, Hector Pacheco looks injured. He doesn't want to come off. He's gonna, he's gonna keep going. Tough kid right the there. Play. Gain of second down the four, second and six for the Bulldogs. They've, had, they've got quite a comeback. They were behind 27 to six. They've scored 14 straight. We've got the little counter play to number seven. That is Cole Weaver, who's about a yard short of the first down for Millsap. On the carry for Millsap number seven, Cole Weaver. Tackle made by the Wildcats, gives number 10, AJ Calger. Also AJ Balger. And Molina in on the tackle. Multiple players in on the tackle. So here we go. Big play here, third and one. Kalsberg crowding the line of scrimmage, number 15. Bolts straight ahead, and he's got the first down, needed a yard, got a yard and a half. That is Ryder Oliver. Good tough run and a good tough defensive play by Kalsberg. So we're going to be at the... Millsap has the ball at their own 36. First and 10. Kalisberg hasn't played horrible defense throughout the game, but this Wildcat has given them a little bit of trouble. They're, they seem to be a little outnumbered. I think they lined up offsides that time. This could be a free play, but it looks like Green is running tough. So it's either going to be first and five or second and four. I'm sure they'll take the penalty to get the extra down. The defensive end at the bottom of the formation lined up off sides. The Kalisberg guys are really trying to strip that ball. Offside, defense number four, five yard penalty. Replay first so down. it'll be first and five from the 41 for Millsap. 
they got momentum on their side. That's for sure. There they are in their Wildcat formation again. Green at quarterback. Looks like another pre-snap penalty. Flag again on the play. Offsides again on the defense. So, Millsap just got a first down on two offside penalties. And coaches are not too happy with number four for Kalisburg. Jackson Falgott, I think he was lined up in the neutral zone both times. So, Millsap. Clock running, 925 and rolling. First and 10, inside handoff to Oliver. And he's swallowed up again by big number 74, Gustavo Perez. Didn't like the way he was slung to the ground. So a loss of one was the forward progress. Second down and 11 for Millsap. Still in that Wildcat. Green runs a counter, and it is blown up in the backfield for another loss of one. So in comes C.R. Tippy, the sophomore quarterback, the southpaw, the lefty, number 13, in for Millsap. Millsap's going to have a three-receiver set to the right. And Green uh, running back. Looks like reverse. And it is to number eight. He gets about six of the yards back. That's Mason Burns. Another helmet comes off. So let's see what we got here. Do we have a penalty? Looks like it. Coach is talking to number 77, Marco Gonzalez. Now the official's talking to the coach. Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. No flash photography is allowed during the game. Please, that includes the lights on your cell phones. Please refrain from using flash photography. Thank you. The announcer saying that people in the stands need to quit flashing their cell phone lights. Not sure if that's UIL, but it's always a good idea. So we have a delay here because the officials are having some discussion with the Millsap coaches on the sideline. We're about to find out what's going on here. But it looks like they're gonna punt, so it can't be good. So it looks like there was an unsportsmanlike conduct on number 77, and he's been ejected from the game. That's uh, Marco Gonzalez. 15-yard penalty makes it fourth down and 20. Number 81, Grant Camarillo to punt the ball. Punts it to number 10, A.J. Calger, who gets about five yards on the return. Let's see where he caught that. Uh, he got about 
three yards on all the, on that return. Calgary, pretty good little athlete. A couple stiff arms. Good hard run there. Good camera work, by the way. So here we go. Seven, basically seven and a half minutes left in this playoff game. Callisburg leading by seven. Montgomery with the quick wide receiver screen. And once again, wide receiver looked like he blocked in the back. And that'd be number, not a wide receiver, that's number 60, the left tackle. So it looks like we have an injured player off the side of the field. Trainers are coming over. Might be a Millsap player, it is. So we're gonna take this injury timeout. We'll be back to the fact in one minute. Check out the play for Millsap number 62, Anson Johnson. Resuming play, first and 10, Callisburg at their own 45 yard line. Two receivers stacked to the left. Montgomery calls the play. Number two in motion. Montgomery fakes the pitch, breaks a tackle. He's down the sideline. And number 21, Garen Morgan runs him down, but not until he makes a 45 yard run. 40 yard run on the play. First down for Kalisberg, leading by seven. Just under seven minutes left in the game. And the linesman is coming in to stop the clock. I'm not sure what's happening here. The officials are still conferring to see what, I have no idea what they're talking about. Could be a clock, clock issue. Resuming play, first and 10, Callisburg at the Millsap 15 yard line. Montgomery gets the signals, breaks a tackle of number 16, Kai Hanog. Churns those, those strong legs he's been displaying tonight for a two yard gain. Second and eight for Callisburg. Split backs, two receivers to his left. Montgomery calls the signals out. Hand off to number seven, Colton Simpson around left end. It's a touchdown, but this one's gonna come back. It's either a hold or a block in the back. 
It's, it looks like number two block in the back. Check out, yep, number two, block number four in the back. Illegal block in the back, offense number two. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul, replay second down. That's the second penalty he's had on the first, first play of the game when Bill Sapp scored. He was guilty of the hold, and now they bring another touchdown back because he block number four in the back. When well, he had to do it or the kid was going to get tackled. So, you know, he's probably 16 or 17 years old. You just ask him please not to do it again. <laughs> so, spot foul. So it's going to be second and 14 from the 19-yard line. Montgomery. Oh, the running backs run into each other. Ball is dropped by A.J. Calger. Incomplete. So it'll be third and 14 for Kalisberg. I'm not sure of what their field goal kicker's range is, so they probably got two downs to make 14 yards here. Don't think they would try a field goal. Coaches are still conferring there to see what signals they want to send in. 10 seconds on the play clock. Montgomery has split backs around him. Two receivers to the left. Gets the playoff. And there goes number seven, Simpson again around the left end. And it looks like he is in the end zone. He trucked number three, Caden Pitt, on his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Callisburg. He's a tough runner. Martez Huff made the observation of the night number seven is tough he has he has not come off the field he's on the field for every special teams he's on he's a starter on defense and a starting running back that kid is tough he's got speed made a good cut and then just put his head down and trucked the kid on the way in great run great blocking also by the offensive line time rail on for the kick, and it is good. Looked like he kicked more of the ground than the ball, but it got over the got over the crossbar, and it is good. Our new score here in North Richland Hills, Callisburg 34, Millsap 20. We'll be back to the fact in one minute. Morell with the kickoff. It's a short pooch kick. Caught by number 21. Who steps back. Oh, fumbles the ball out of bounds. Got a little bit happy feet there. Number 21, Garen Morgan. And Callisburg has an injured player. Number 44, maybe. Clayton Winters being helped off the field. First down for Millsap. 
Tippy back in at quarterback. The lefty. He's got, he is sacked. So like what I talked about before, this kid's a sophomore. He's gonna have a good, he'll have a good junior and senior year, but he's got to get his eyes off of his alignment. He's gotta trust his line and look past them, try and find his receivers. He can't be staring at the line and he'll never get his feet set. He is, he's a pretty small kid. Tippy back to throw. Looks like they're going to throw a screen right over the top. They do. And number 15. And he's got some wheels now. 15, Ryder Oliver, the running back for Millsap. Great call. They, I think they knew Mil, uh, Kalsberg may try to blitz, and they did. Great call. Number 15 tapping himself out in a playoff game. That's hard to understand, but I guess the guy probably never comes off the field either. So here we go. First and 10 Millsap at the Kalsberg 47. Tippy with Green next to him at, at the running back spot. He's going deep, throwing the post, and it is incomplete. A little, little too much on that. Second and 10 for Millsap. Number four had a step on him. It was just the ball was overthrown just a little bit. And then number five, Caden Molina, came in and bumped him for good measure at the end. Second and ten, Tippy. Oh! Ball is intercepted by number nine from Kalisberg. That's Trip Hazel with the diving forward interception on the pass from C.R. Tippy. First down, Kalisberg. Up 14 with 444 left in the game. They just want to keep the ball away from Millsap. I expect a lot of running coming up here. Montgomery up the middle. Just as I suspected, I think they're just going to try to run this clock down. Montgomery's a tough runner. Gain of four, second and six. Callisburg at their own 46 yard line. So Millsap coach is in a hard spot here. He doesn't really want to use his timeouts this early, but he may not have a choice after this play. We'll see what, how they go here. Hand off to Simpson again, who cuts it up. Same play they scored on, but this time Millsap is ready. Simpson on the carry. Wrapped up on the play by the Third and six, no gain in that time. The important thing for Kalisberg is they stayed in bounds and the clock is running. So they've run a minute, over a minute off the clock with two plays there. Third down. Montgomery with two running backs to his left. He got some tight twins on his left. Montgomery's gonna take it up the middle and lowers his shoulder and runs over number 12 for Millsap, Carson Brandon, Carson Brandon, and then that's enough for a first down. Some of the Kalisberg players are starting to celebrate, but definitely don't want to do that too early. I think maybe number seven, Colton Simpson was just celebrating because he gets to come off the field for once. I think this is the first time, except for halftime, he's been off the field. 
So the clock continues to run. Got eight seconds on the play clock. They're doing a good job of milking that play clock. Four, three, two, and the snap. So here comes number 12 on the sweep to the left and he stays in bounds. That is Carson Brandon. Number 12, Carson Brandon on the carry. Timeout, Millsap, their first time out of the half. Millsap calls a timeout with second down and three. We'll take the timeout with them. We'll be back to the fact in one minute. And we're back in North Richland Hills. 2.35 remaining in the game. Callisburg running the sweep to the left. And Simpson puts on the brakes to stay in bounds. But it looks like he may have fumbled the ball. We'll see. And it looks like Callisburg has recovered. Number 65. Rowdy Jeffries. Millsap. Calls another timeout. 2.27 left in the game. We'll be back to the fact in one minute. Inside handoff to Simpson as we return to play. And Millsap is going to burn their final timeout. So we'll take the timeout with them. We'll be back to the fact in one minute. Inside handoff to number four as we come back to play. Number four, Jackson Falgout. Looks like his knee touched down at the 24 yard line, so the clock's gonna roll. We'll be at right at a minute and a half left in the game when Callisburg snaps the ball. 
Got to give credit to Millsap. They played a heck of a third quarter, scoring 14 unanswered points. But the two penalties, the, per, the uh, pass interference and then the unsportsmanlike on the coach, the 30-yard penalties, that was not a good way to, uh, to help your team out. Oh, Simpson around the left sideline, and he is going to score. 24-yard touchdown for Colton Simpson, and Callisburg extends their lead to 40-20 to over Millsap. Great blocking and a great cut and, and to stay in bounds by Simpson there. Ty Morrell coming on to kick the extra point and A.J. Cowder, the receiver, will be the holder. Offsides on Millsap. It'll be offsides on Millsap. And Cowger just got, it was a pile drive right into the ground. They should have stopped play. Offside, defense number eight. Half the distance of the goal, we'll replay the try. So we're gonna go half the distance. And they're still gonna kick it. I thought they'd go for two. So we'll try this again. Counter to hold. And Morrell, number 88, was the kicker. High snap, once again, offsides again. Ooh, <laughs> number 70. Zach White showing off that tackle speed, but it looks like uh, Millsap is offsides again. <laughs> so I think the uh, Kalsberg coach says, you know what, we'll just go for two. Yeah, the kicker's coming off. They're gonna go for two. You're not gonna let me kick? I'll put an extra point on the board for you. So the ball is inside the one yard line. Kalisberg sends her offense out. The officials have stopped play for something. Seems to be a common theme here tonight. During the substitution, we have a false start on the offense. That's a five yard penalty. And we so we'll see if they kick the it try. again. Will they, will they continue to go for two? Cowger on the on the pitch pass around the front, and he is tackled for no gain. Get a little chippy out there. So we have, now we have a, a total zebra conference at the right around midfield, or excuse me, right in the middle of the field around the 30 yard line. All seven officials. So we got flags on this side of the field, we got flags on the other side of the field. The Millsap coach is having a team meeting with his kids telling them to keep their mouth shut. Be classy hopefully is what he's telling them. Win with class, lose with class. Don't be classless. Don't put a bad light on their school. 
So we'll see what happens here. So now the head coach for Millsap is back inside the numbers again where he's not supposed to be. The Kalisberg coach is also inside the numbers where he's not supposed to be. So probably we're going to have offsetting penalties. Let's kick the kick off and let's get this game over with is what they're saying. But you don't want anybody thrown out if you're Kalisberg because they may not get to play next week. And if it's number 10, that would be a tremendous blow to their offense. But we'll see what happens. He would have to be ejected. I'll tell you what, we're going to let these sort, sort this out, and we'll be back into FAC in 30 seconds. Okay, so we are back. We've had an unsportsmanlike penalty, dead ball unsportsmanlike called against, I think, number 10 from, for Kalisberg. They're going to end up kicking from their 25 now. Don't think there were any ejections because you have to have two unsportsmanlike. So number 88, Ty Morrell, is going out to the field to kick. I don't think he has a tee. The one thing the kicker's never supposed to go out on the field without. There we go. So these last four minutes have lasted 30 minutes of real time, by the way. This game's lasted quite a while. Not exciting there for a little bit though. So Morell tees it up and pooch kick to the 49 where he is met by a host of Kalisberg Wildcats. So it'll be first and 10 at midfield. Minute 27 oh, left. Tippy's back on at quarterback line. as quarterback. First down for Milton. So the play clock's running with 20 seconds left to get to play. Here he goes. So Millsap down 20. Quick wide receiver screen to the outside to number eight, Mason Burns. Gain of about two, second and eight. Clock's running at a minute 10 and rolling here in the game. Second 
Tippy gets the snap, rolls out to the left, and he is sacked and fumbles. And it looks like Kalsberg has has taken control of the ball. I think they'll hit a knee, hopefully, and that'll be the end of this game. So we'd like to say, first of all, congratulations to Millsap on a great season, finishing third in their district and making it to by-district by playoffs. And congratulations to the Kalsberg Wildcats, who will be the Class 3A Division II Region two by district champions tonight. Not sure who they're gonna move on to play in round two. But there's some rumors that the game might be back here. So we'll we'll see. Montgomery takes a knee. They just have to snap it one more time and this ball game will be over. We'd like to thank Barry Norton, our athletic director for uh, his hospitality this year and all these games here at the Fine Arts Athletic Complex. For Martez Huff, this is Joe Ward from the, from the FAC here in North Richland Hills. With our final score, Kalisburg 40 and Millsap 20. Everybody have a great Friday coming up. And make sure if you're in the DFW area, wear a coat. It's going to be cold and windy tomorrow. Yeah.